as I said after the game on Saturday, uh, disappointed in the way we played. Looking at the film, very disappointed. Offensively, uh, lowest assist total of the year, six. Uh, did not share it, did not trust, did not uh, move it to the second side. I thought we had a little bit of the home run, home run hero mentality um, offensively, and I, I don't like that. We're not good enough to play that way. Uh, we have to share it. We have to trust each other. We got to move it, cut, fill, space, you know, all those things we have to do. We didn't do that. Give their defense some credit on it. Looking at it again, their defense was good. Uh, we've played against a lot of good defenses. So um, not real happy with that. That'll be a point of emphasis today. Um, overall, you know, excited about my team. As I said before, I like my team. I like what we have. Um, and uh, we'll get ready for a big week in the league. So uh, obviously, Clune Arena and Air Force, very difficult place to play, and then Colorado State at home. Um, so big week for us. Any questions, I'll take them. The previous three games, I think we tried to get to A offensively, and A was successful. San Diego State did a good job of taking away A, and we didn't trust it to get to B. And that's maybe part of what we needed to learn. Maybe that's part of the process. That's playing on the road in the league. I don't want to be disrespectful to San Diego State and their defense. But you want to be a good team, you got to be able to get to A. A's taken away, you get to B. B's taken away, you get to C. That's what championship team, good teams do. I didn't think we trusted to go to B, and I didn't think we trusted to go to C, and that's what happened. So. I, I think this experience will be good for us. Um, losing is never fun. It's never what we want. But I think it'll be uh, a good eye opener for us for future games when A and B are taken away. You've got to trust and get to C, be a little more patient, and um, be tougher. And I didn't think we were very tough. I talk a lot about toughness and rebounding and defense and running, but offensively, mentally, you've got to be tough too. And I didn't think we were very tough mentally offensively. Their speed and quickness and their length and their depth was a factor in that game. They have five seniors. They got a good team. Um, but, you know, we've played against a lot of good teams. It's not one of those deals where you can say we haven't played anybody else. But I didn't think we handled that first seven minutes real well. And if you look at it again, we had layups we missed. Kim Tilly misses a layup at the rim. Bora misses two wide open threes. But you got to make those plays. And then we didn't make those plays. And again, we got a little bit hero. Well, now I got to do it because we're down. We've been down before, you know. And so I'm hoping that being in that situation, we'll learn from it. We covered the film yesterday. We practiced yesterday. And, um, you know, we'll just keep trying to get better, keep trying to grow. So. There were two threes I didn't like. Um, Carlin Brown taking the one at the top, Dircha the one with the corner. Too much time on the clock for both those situations. Um, other than that, we had a lot of good open shots that we took that we didn't make. Kepke had two wide open ones. Bora had three wide open ones. Um, you know, you make two of those five, and it's a different game. So, uh, you know, we're going to get open shots with the way Luke's playing. We're going to get open threes with the way Luke's playing. We got to make them, or we got to put our head down and create for somebody else. And I thought. We tried to hero it to make them, and then we weren't making them. We didn't put our head down and create for somebody else. So we got to learn from that. Yeah, I think we're poised to be. You know, I think we're poised to be. I mean, you look at our RPIs, 22 today. Our strength of schedule, six. That that in itself says NCAA tournament team. So, but we have to win games, and we have to win, um, and and keep moving forward. You know, if you look at it compared to last year, we lose at San Diego State last year, but we lose at Wyoming at home. So are we a game above where we were last year? I don't know. I, you know, you can look at it that way. Maybe we are. But um, with our strength of schedule and our RPI, if, if we can put some wins together and, you know, what have we won? Five out of seven? Is that right, Mike? Yeah. Five out of seven? You know, if we can keep winning five out of seven, obviously, we're gonna, you know, we're going to be right there. Four out of six, five out of seven, six out of eight, 
you know, uh, I think we'll, we we could be right there. But what I've asked, this, you know, this team, what I've asked them to do is take it a practice at a time, a day at a time, and just get better and grow and get better and grow. And we've got to learn from games when we don't play well or learn from games where we don't do the things that we need to do. You know, it's ironic in that San Diego State game, we, we out-rebounded them. And, but I thought they got the key rebounds that really made a difference in that second half. When we could have cut into that league, Luke has one by the rim, Richie Williams gets the tip, lays it up, two-point goal for them. And, um, you know, I, I like winning the rebound game, but I thought the key rebounds and the putbacks for them were big. And, you know, we got some things we got to correct and some things we got to work on. So, so we, we have goals for everything. Uh, going into a game, how many points we'd like them to score, how many points we'd like to score. And it's always like, I, I thought if we, could go, if we could score 65 or more down there, we were going to win that game. I really felt that way. And they had been holding teams to 55. And I just felt if we could get to 65 on the road at, in that place, we were going to have a great shot to win. And we have, you know, field goal percentage goals, defensive field goal percentage goals. And when we hit three to, three to four of our six goals, usually we, we win. You know, uh, if you look at it over the over the last year and a half, we've won. So those are very important to me. I spend time on those, talk to my team about them. Um, you know, so. I like their I, I like their athleticism uh, with their two guys out front, and um, you know their style is so hard to play against. They're, they are playing more man to man defense now, maybe than they were last year. Last year it was all zone. Um, they have bigs who can shoot it. They're shooting 42% from the three, which is always a concern for us. Um, you know it'll be a meat grinder, low scoring game. So every bucket, every basket, every free throw, uh, every turnover is worth almost double because there's just not that many possessions in these games. So, um, you know, we expect a dog fight. Tough kids, they're coming off a tough loss. We're coming off a tough loss. Both teams will be ready. You know, well, I don't, I, don't know, I don't know if any time you go into Air Force, you're saying you should win. Um, I just don't know if anybody says that in our league. I don't know if anybody says that in the country. I mean, their coach is always complaining about can't get anybody to play there. The schedule, you know, the schedule strength is down because they can't get anybody to come to their building. I think there's a reason for that. It is a difficult place to play, and they are tough kids. So. You know, Mike, I try to respect all of our opponents everywhere we've gone and prepare my team to play as best they can and learn from the experience. And I'm going to do that, you know, today and tomorrow and get ready for Wednesday. And 